What's up folks? My name is Leo Booby and I welcome you back to Dying Light. And we helped Mark in the previous episode to clean his wound and to bandage it. And now we have to get back to Rahim. When you're outside, never let them surround you. Okay. Got it. Rahim! Mama's home. Why are the doors closed? Why are the... What the fuck are you doing? Alright, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. No explosives, Rahim. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Well, what are we wearing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can't even see us in the mirror, dude. That's the problem. That's the problem. Otherwise, I would... Mm. Mm. But we can't see us. It sucks. So... Let's get us new clothes. Oh! Oh! We actually have a clothes menu. Awesome! Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Jim? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Jim? They have everything here. They even they have electricity, a gym. Where's the swimming pool, guys? Where's the swimming pool? What kind of stupid question is this? It's a joke, obviously. <laughs> Didn't you say it was a joke? No? Okay. Ooh, lady. No. <laughs> I'm sorry for not talking so much, guys, or talking bullshit, but I don't know. In the beginning, I'm trying to get into the game and so and Psst. Psst. So this is the sleeping hall, I guess. With a little kitchen, cute. Oh, what's in here? Supermarket? Or more like uh, storage or something. Mm-hmm. Ham. Ham is always good. Canned food. Jump. Okay. 
seems like soda alcohol more soda more ham cool the first episodes will not be so much action I guess I just want to get into the game as I said and make a little fun and yeah get into the controls Hmm. And yeah, as I said, I won't take this game so serious because that's just not me. I I want to do let's plays for fun and do fun in the let's plays and yeah. What? You can't do what? Give me fifteen for one. Okay. Hmm. It's actually sad. It's really sad, actually. And then Gretel shoved the wicked witch into the oven and burned her up. She and her brother Hansel were now free to go home to their daddy, who was worried sick about them. Despite being only small children, Hansel and Gretel managed to outwit the witch. You see, this fairy tale is true. Even children can outwit an evil witch if they're smart. So you need to be smart. And you have to remember that hungry people can do terrible things. You all need to be on the lookout for bad witches and monsters who may try to lure you with breadcrumbs. Uh huh. Listen, kids, listen. I know what she's talking about. Hey, Nanny. 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 Nanny, carry me. Nanny! Oh! Give me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. He has a PSP! Nanny! You stink! I hate you! You sucker! I will go out into this world! And fuck all of you! <laughs> what was that, kid? Where where did it go? I uh, whatever. Yeah, but still, it's kind of sad. Like the kids have to grow up in this kind of situation and this kind of place, and yeah. Sorry, I'm wasting so much time, but. Yeah, I guess. Just, I mean, it's the second episode. We have so much time left and there will be happening so much. Cool. So, we've seen everything. Oh my god, I remember doing that when I was small. Oh my god, all my wall was full of color, I swear. All my wall. Keep going. I believe in you. You'll be like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is actually not that good in the end, maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. So, let's go further up. Ooh. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Lost. Holy moly. Well, what are you waiting for? Get I over want here. to jump. I just wanted to jump. Let me jump. Thank you. <laughs> Now this is awesome. You want to feel right at home. A crane? On a crane. 
<laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Come on, let me bitch slap you. Oh my god. Hi. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. The graphics. You nuts, I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. You piece of shit! You fuck with me? I will show you who fucks with me! Never fuck with me! Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's <laughs> more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Okay. Oh, a little parkour. Sometimes awesome. It's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. But can't we slide or something? You. No, sadly. Who needs Mirror's Edge? There is a new Mirror's Edge coming up, but who needs it when we got this game? Awesome. Try not to slow down once you start running. Okay, Outside, okay. If you stop, you're probably dead. Uh, what? Not bad for a noob. Noob? I will show you who's a noob, you piece of shit. Wait till I get you. Alright, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. Um, 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 um. Hello? Hello? Hey, we have to do. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm a noob. <laughs> Fine. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh. No, I don't accept this shit. Jump, you pe- Hold. Oh, I have to. I have to hold it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I didn't know. I'm new. I'm a noob and new. Oh my god, we did it. It was the That's hardest thing yet. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. I'm such a fail, I know. <sighs> Jump. Oh my god. Jump. Oh. Good job. Thank you, okay. thank you. Time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Run? But I'm I'm hanging. How is it hanging, dude? <laughs> uh. Please don't judge my jokes. Thank you. So Jump! Oh my god, we did it. I didn't think he would do it. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. <laughs> I, I know, that. I know. <laughs> You've done it before. You've done it before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. The fail I did before was just to um, keep the tension. <laughs> Of course. What? What is happening to me? Chris. Whoa. Shit. Oh, shit. Chris, talk to me. What's going on? Something 
went wrong. 